Hello, my name is Mark. I'm a concept artist and illustrator working in the entertainment industry. And here I would like to demonstrate you how can you paint the sandstorm. So uh, for this piece, I, I didn't really have any sort of set idea in mind, like a, like a really detailed image. Uh, so all, all I just want to do is, is just experiment with the, with the idea of, of a sandstorm for my for my doing project. So, as the first phase, I just I just started to block in random shapes uh, as the rocks and the desert. So, because I imagine the the scene takes place uh, at the border of the desert, and we had where the desert meets the the desert rocks and the rock walls. So I'm duplicating layers and painting on top. I of course, I, I had a, a general uh, color scheme in my mind, what comes from the desert and the color of the, of the sand and the brownish color of the rocks, what, is, what are pretty similar to the desert, uh, but a bit more saturated. And I imagined big, uh, big patches of shadows and big patches of lights um, to des describe the different space segments. So, as you see, I'm, I'm working in, in this phase, I'm working, I didn't want to use any photo textures or anything, so I just, I just went with the flow. Um, I'm using a lot of, uh, a lot of different custom brushes uh, to get a bit more painted look, but I also, I also like to have the variety of, of the edges. So uh, that's why I'm using a lot of uh, selections and the lasso tool and painting inside selections. So, uh, but the custom brushes are really useful, um, but it's really hard to, to get um, a bit too much on them in your paintings. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to use um, uh, less scattered, less less customy, less random brushes in 80% of my painting process. It could be just just uh, just a simple chalk brush or a round brush, or or a bit more painterly uh, nature brush, even from the from the basic Photoshop sets. And and I'm using uh, in in the rest 20%. I'm using different custom brushes for special textures. So here, here I, I started to block in the, the sandstorm and I decided to, to go uh, with a bit more unconventional way in, t in terms of showing the sandstorm because usually this, the sandstorm, because it, it casts shadow on the ground, so it gets darker and darker towards the ground, almost like a cloud, but uh, I, I wanted to to make this sense of a bit more supernatural so so i decided to to paint the bottom part lighter what gives a bit more depth of the image but and it also gives a sort of supernatural or unnatural look what matches to to the concept what i'm after or the mood what i'm after the 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 main trick is with painting sandstorms and clouds and and any any sort of effects uh, like that is um, to building it up in layers because it, it gives you the, the opportunity to to show more depth with uh, with different movements, adding different effects, adding different motion blurs. So what I've done here is uh, I use this sponge like brush in most in most of the times and I also added like particles. In, in in various steps, in various layers, and I apply different motion blurs to, to different parts. So, so each layer has less and less motion blur as we are coming towards the foreground. And now I jump back and I edit my main character because I wanted to to show uh, a, a friend and tribesman walking walking in the in the foreground just just to have a bit more life. In the image, and I also wanted to show that he he's not really afraid of the storm, so he still calmly walks around. Um, yeah, now I'm I'm going back and adding more more of those of, of the same layering thing. What what I was talking about, and 
but also as, as I'm getting closer to the to the mood and the final uh, final image what I'm after I'm I'm jumping back and forth and doing layer adjustments and color adjustments adding a bit of contrast and adding small details like dust particles uh, lightning lightning uh, in the storm and stuff like that so yeah and that's pretty much it um, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something